Thank you for having me today. I'm sure many of you have already heard of this phrase before, the butterfly effect, a theory that the smallest changes in earlier circumstances can lead to large scale and unpredictable variations of outcome in the future. So one day, I was wondering why it is called the butterfly effect. Apparently, the term was coined by a mathematician, Edward Lawrence, who discovered in the 1960s that the flaps of small little butterflies in his computer models on weather could cause huge variations, anything from nice weathers to even violent storms. That was a very interesting concept to me, and I did some personal reflections. Is my current life basically a result of my own decisions and circumstances in the past? And right now, you have been listening to speeches of so many remarkable people making great impact in this world. You might be feeling inspired, but a little uncertain if you too can make such great impact. Today, I'll just tell you a bit of a story that anyone with the smallest intent to make a positive impact indeed can make a great impact. Currently, I'm managing WorkSider where we have been helping over 20,000 students find internship opportunities in over 500 companies. These didn't just happen overnight. It all started with the smallest decision I made three years ago. That was when I was in university. I was pretty busy trying to start my own startups related to sponsorships, augmented reality, and also advertisement business in restrooms. You know, when you're sitting down in the cubicle facing the back of the door, even the tiniest crack on the floor seems interesting. And that was a period where university students started using a new messaging app, Telegram, to create community groups. I was also introduced to it and saw that there are a few university groups, but didn't see one for my university. So just for fun, I decided to create one. At the same time, that was when many of the entrepreneurs and business owners I've met from various networking events have been me asking to share their internship opportunities to my schoolmates. Okay, why not? So I started sharing internship opportunities in that community group. And interestingly, the group started to become bigger. And the feedback from both sides, the students and the companies were really good. Okay, then I was thinking, why don't I create a general Telegram channel for all students in Singapore to join? At first, the channel had just a couple hundred of students, then it became thousands and then it grew over 10,000 in a few weeks. I've also started getting tons of requests from recruiters to share their internship opportunities on the Telegram channel. And that is how I decided to officially launch the platform WorkSider to scale the ability to connect both students and the companies. So in a few months, just that one decision to help match a couple of my schoolmates and entrepreneur friends led to helping thousands of students find internship opportunities, impacting their lives significantly. This is what I call the butterfly impact. And that butterfly impact was not just limited to external. It had a great impact on myself as well. What happened was that one of the recruiters I had been helping then was from a company, Amazon. I helped share some of his opportunities, but one day he had a very interesting opportunity in their ASEAN startup business development team. I was like, wow, I love startups. I love doing business development. And also it's a great company, Amazon. So for that one internship opportunity, I didn't help to share on the Telegram channel. So a few months later, I was working really hard in Amazon. Of course, I went through proper tests and interviews for that internship, but that one internship really changed my perspective about startups. I had the opportunity to travel and meet startups in Philippines, Vietnam, and Japan. Also, my boss really taught me the importance of scalability. Honestly, that was one huge driving factor why I'm trying to scale my efforts globally to help more students 
kickstart their career. So three years ago, if I did not try to help a few of my friends find internships, none of these might have happened. Even if I started something like Worksider, I might not even have the thought of scaling the business globally. However, you need to know that the butterfly impact does not just come from positive events leading to another. Earlier, I started my story where I was trying to do many different startups in university. Now you may ask, why did I have such motivation? It all goes back to my secondary school, Raffles Institution. Back then, there was this program called Gap Semester, where students are encouraged to go for attachments or immersion programs to expose oneself to new experiences and be more open-minded. One of the things I did was an attachment program in a law firm. However, the experience there was dreadful because I did not have any prior experience reading legal documents. Most of the tasks I had were to proofread the old documents again and again to spot any grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes all day. While it was still a very cool experience, I thought that I chose the wrong program and made a huge mistake. Because I was so bored and had nothing much to do, I had a lot of time to read books then. And one of the books I read was called The Millionaire Next Door, about successful entrepreneurs. It was very interesting, but I didn't think too much of it then. Subsequently, I graduated secondary school and moved to my high school, RJ, where I first had to choose the club or society to join. I was thinking of the usual sports clubs, but something in the list caught my eye, which was Raffles Entrepreneurs Network. I was like, oh, I've seen this word entrepreneur before, but I forgot what it meant. So, you know, as a diligent student studying for SAT, I decided to look it up to learn that it means an individual who creates a new business, taking on risks in the hope of profits. Very cool. So I decided to join the club. Then from there, I participated in many different business competitions, met successful entrepreneurs, and became really motivated to start my own business. So essentially, if I did not make a mistake for going for an attachment in a law firm and get really bored, I might not even have seen the word entrepreneur from reading a book, nor joined the Entrepreneurs Network. My life might have been very different from what it is now. So the butterfly impact is not just from good decisions leading to another. A bad decision or event might actually be a blessing in disguise. So fret not. If you think that you made a huge mistake in a project, an exam, an internship, or any part of your life, what you need to do is move on, make the best out of it, because that one mistake might be the smallest flaps of butterflies that can lead to a great happiness in the future. But now you may be thinking, only if I did certain things differently in the past, my life now would have been better. Now, let me tell you another perspective. I will say that all the decisions you have made in the past are good ones. Why? Because you are alive at this point of time with the privilege to attend this amazing event. If you have made a different decision in the past, you might not even be here on this earth. So first, congratulate yourself for making good decisions in the past and try your best to make another good decision, even if it comes with small impacts. Help your friends, families, and other people. And who knows, a few years down the line, you are making a great impact and can really be proud of yourself. Thank you.